guys, it's Trina and I'm doing another channel check-in today. I think this is the fourth one I've done and I'm a little behind on these. I was doing them at the start of every month, but I haven't gotten around to April's yet. Things around here have been really chaotic. I still want to be doing this series every month. Um, obviously this one's not going up at the start of April. I don't even know if it's going <laughs> to be up in the month of April period. The premise of the series is I go back and look at all the TBRs and book hauls and things I said I wanted to read in the first year that I started my booktube channel and I show you that old video on screen and I let you know did I read that book. It's been three years. Have I actually read what I thought I was going to read? And the times that I've done this before I then would say, well, these are the books I haven't read yet. These are the things I'm left with. Let me know which one of these you want me to read this month. And I have not read either one of those books. That is just not how things are going this year. I haven't been able to build or stick to TBRs so far in 2018 with a new baby. So I am just going to give up the ghost and we are not even going to pretend like I'm going to read these. I'm just essentially doing this check-in just for funsies now. So this time we are checking in with April of 2015 and I do have a TBR for that month so we're going to start off with that video. Hi guys, it's Trina. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about my April TBR. This year I did an April Fool's joke. Obviously that's not really me. Um, I just had my husband give like a bunch of big books that I knew I wasn't realistically going to get to. Um, or he actually picked the books himself, but it was just an April Fool's joke. My husband's been telling me the rest of the Game of Thrones series is really good and I need to go ahead and read it. But right here I'm going to go ahead and knock them out within about a week and a half. Shouldn't be too big a deal, too many thousand, you know, several thousand pages. And then I'm going to pick up another series that he's been bugging me to read. The rest of the Aragon series and that shouldn't be a big deal either just a few more thousand pages. Funnily enough since this was posted I actually have completed the entire Song of Ice and Fire series or all the books that are published so far and the entire Aragon series so that April Fool's joke wasn't too far from reality. I have read those books too even though they weren't technically on my TBR so like they don't really count but I did read them. April Fools! Seriously though, this is my April TBR video. I don't have a lot of plans for my TBR this month, but mainly I wanted to do this video so that you can see me draw for my TBR jar challenge pick. Read a series finale. I need to finish the final three books in the Sookie Stackhouse series by Charlene Harris. Specifically, these books are Dead Reckoning, Dead Locked, and Dead Ever After, which is the final one. I did read those books that month, so that is three checks. The only other book I'm planning on reading in April is The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. I know that one has been on a couple of these other check-in videos, and I have read it, so... I kept procrastinating on it that year, but I eventually did get to it. Look at this face I'm making. Bye! Hi guys, Trina here. Um, no, I don't say Trina here. Hi guys, Trina. No. <laughs> so next I have a book haul that I posted that month. This was a book haul and birthday unboxing. Hi guys, I'm Trina and today I'm doing an unboxing! Yay! I'm so excited for this one. It's Vanishing Girls by Lauren Oliver. I have read that book. I have read everything else by Lauren Oliver. Well, not really. And it is signed, and I've got a little note here from Amy. <laughs> this is the one that's from Nisi, and there's a couple of things here. I got Vicious from B.E. Schwab. Oh, that's so cool. I have read it, and I really, really love that book. This is from one of my closest friends, Holly. Oh, cool! The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Miss. Oh my god. I have not read this book. It was in my first channel check-in. as like one of the series that I wanted to read that year or something. And so apparently this is when I actually got the book. This is the oldest book on my shelves that I own and have not read yet. I just keep putting it off. I'm so intimidated by this book. And I know a lot of people have recommended that I try the audio, but the audio book is actually not even available through my library's overdrive. So, and I don't think I can request it either. I've looked, but that's kind of what's putting me off at the moment because audio is what's getting me through everything. Yeah! It's 
Snow Like Ashes. I have read Snow Like Ashes. I read that one pretty quickly after this video, and I have been intending to finish that series ever since then because I did actually really like that book. And I just have never, ever even picked up the sequels. And I still want to finish the series, but you know how that goes, right? My husband gave me Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is one of my absolute favorite. I've read that one. I had read it before I got it, but then he got me that copy just, you know, to have on my shelves because I loved it so much. And lastly, The Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Read it. Really didn't like it, but that's not what this video is about. I have read it. So that was it for the book haul. I have one last thing to check in with for this month, and that is a library haul. Hey guys, it's Trina, and I'm about to go to the library. Y'all remember when I used to film in my car? <laughs> I would get so many comments from people that thought I was driving around as I was filming, and they were like, you shouldn't be doing that. That's irresponsible. And I'm like, I'm parked. Like, you can see in the windows, like, the scenery is not moving. I just got out of the library, and here's my tote bag, totally full of books. The book I'm currently reading is the last book of the Suki Stackhouse series, and so I went ahead and picked up this companion book. It's called After Dead. I did read that one. It was just like a really short thing, so it took like no time at all. It was completely unnecessary, but I thought it was kind of interesting to have that after a very, very long series. And then I got these babies. This is the rest of the Sailor Moon manga, the ones that I haven't read. So these are volumes 9, 10, 11, 12, and then these two are just bind-ups of short stories. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that was six books, and I read read all six of those. And I did find the last two books in the Lion Game series, which is another series I am trying to finish up currently. Cross My Heart, Hope to Die, and Seven Minutes in Heaven. Read both of those. I did finish that series, and I have a full series review of it on my channel. I will link it up here and in the description. My Sarah Shepard series reviews are my most watched videos like I still constantly get comments on them which thank you if you you know like her books or you've been searching for reviews of her books because I'm really glad that I posted those reviews because I get a lot of interactions on them still. That's all I got from the library today. That's more than I normally pick up at one time. <laughs> All right, so that is everything from April 2015 that I hauled or put on TBR. In those three videos, there were 19 books that I showed, and out of the 19, I have already read 18 of them. It was only that one book, The Knife of Never Letting Go, that I have not yet read. I have had it as a yearly goal for the past like two years to actually read every owned book on my shelf, and that book has been included, and I haven't done it. And if I haven't read it in like three years, I just, I don't have high hopes for getting to it right away, but I really want to, and I don't know how to make myself actually do it. <laughs> but anyway, that was a pretty successful check-in. I read 18 out of the 19 books. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and I will see you in the comments. Bye!